If you've lived in Las Vegas for a while, you probably know the name Margaret Rudin. She was convicted of killing her millionaire husband, Ron Rudin, and tonight she is out of prison. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Kirsten Joy. And I'm Denise Valdez. Now, her case made international headlines. Dubbed as the Black Widow, she did serve a 20 year to life sentence. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond caught up with now 76 year old and her attorney as she starts to get acclimated to the outside world. Rudin's attorney tells me his client is readjusting. Eight News Now cameras were the only ones to capture one of her first moments in public. She's very excited, but she's also, I think, a little bit overwhelmed. Margaret Rudin walks out of a Las Vegas office depot as a free woman. She and her lawyer visited the store for supplies before driving away. Tonight, she's just trying to relax and get acclimated to being outside of prison. Rudin did not want to speak on camera after nearly 20 years behind bars. She was convicted in 2001 for. Killing her husband, Ron Rudin. He was shot in the head in 1994 at their Las Vegas home, and his remains were dumped in the desert near Lake Mojave. We have 100% um, believe she's innocent. She did not have a fair trial. That's the tragedy of this case, and she didn't have a fair appeal. Who did it? If she is claiming her innocence, who killed her husband? Um, I'm not uh, sure. Uh, right now. There has been a back and forth of appeals in Rudin's case that continue. In October, she told the parole board she planned to stay in Nevada, but that's changed as she starts a new life. She's going to go to Illinois to be with her family. She's going to be with her daughter, her grandkids, and her great grandkids. Rudin plans to leave on a plane tomorrow. One of the first things she did after her release get a freshly brewed cup of coffee. Back to you. Thank you, Kristen. Rudin's parole hearing was in September, and 8 News Now was there. She did not talk about her husband's death or how she still maintains her innocence, but she did say how prison had changed her life for the better. I've worked with a lot of the young girls, helping them to do their homework, to tutor them, to even help teach the Spanish speaking girls to speak English. We have so many opportunities here for girls to educate themselves, to learn how to be um, more self-developed, self-confident. Rudin also told the parole board she will be able to support herself when she does get out, which was today, uh, with Social Security and also some strong family support system.